heavy with me, Hugh. I'll be back when I'm ready. In 1979, the romantic comedy 10 graced the big screen, captivating audiences with its unique charm. Produced and directed by Blake Edwards, the film featured a star-studded cast including Dudley Moore, Julie Andrews, Robert Waver, and Bo Derek. This classic was a major trendsetter at the time and quickly became one of the year's biggest box office hits. The movie's innovative storytelling and memorable performances have left a lasting impact on the world of cinema. <laughs> Where are you going on your vacation? In the 1979 romantic comedy 10, a 42-year-old composer, George Weber, finds himself in the throes of a midlife crisis. The film, directed by Blake Edwards, follows George as he becomes infatuated with a young woman named Jenny Miles, played by Bo Derek. George's obsession with Jenny leads him to abandon his older girlfriend, Samantha Taylor, and pursue the much younger woman. As George becomes more and more consumed by his desire for Jenny, he makes a fool of himself, going to great lengths to win her affections. However, Jenny is already in a relationship, and George's efforts are ultimately for naught. Meanwhile, Samantha, played by Julie Andrews, is left to pick up the pieces of her broken heart. The film's title, 10, refers to George's rating of Jenny's physical beauty on a scale of 1 to 10. However, as the film progresses, George learns that beauty is only skin deep, and that true happiness comes from within. 10 is a classic example of a midlife crisis movie, exploring themes of aging, desire, and the pursuit of happiness. Despite its lighthearted tone, the film offers a thoughtful exploration of the human condition and the challenges that come with growing older. Through its witty dialogue, memorable performances, and insightful commentary on the complexities of love and relationships, 10 remains a beloved entry in the romantic comedy genre. Whether you're a fan of classic films or simply looking for an entertaining, and thought-provoking movie to watch 10 is sure to deliver. Happily, but don't call it love when you're talking to... In the 1979 movie 10, George Weber, played by Dudley Moore, is a 42-year-old composer and playwright who finds himself captivated by a younger woman. George's infatuation with Jenny Miles, portrayed by Julie Andrews, creates tension in his relationship with Samantha Taylor. Samantha, also played by Julie Andrews, is a 38-year-old actress and singer who is involved with George. Despite their strong connection, George's obsession with Jenny threatens to tear their relationship apart. Throughout the movie, George struggles to come to terms with his feelings for Jenny and his commitment to Samantha. He finds himself torn between his desire for youth and beauty and his appreciation for the love and companionship that Samantha offers. Meanwhile, Samantha must deal with her own insecurities and jealousy as she watches George's infatuation with Jenny grow. Despite her pain, she tries to be understanding and supportive, but ultimately, she must make a difficult decision about the future of their relationship. In the end, George is forced to confront the consequences of his actions and decide once and for all who he truly loves. The movie explores themes of love, desire, and aging, and offers a poignant look at the complexities of relationships. Uh, could you do me a favor and get me Area code 2136. In the 1979 movie 10, Bo Derek plays the young woman, Jenny Miles, who becomes the object of George's obsession. Jenny is on her honeymoon with her husband, David Hanley, and her beauty and charm capture George's attention, leading him on a wild goose chase to find and win her heart. Blake Edwards, the director of 10, is a seasoned veteran in the film industry with a career spanning over four decades. Known for his comedic touch, and unique storytelling style, Edwards brings to life the humorous and sometimes absurd situations that George finds himself in throughout the movie. Hanley, the producer of 10, is another industry veteran who has worked with Edwards on several projects. Together, they create a dynamic duo, bringing their combined experience and expertise to the production of this classic film. Dudley Moore, who replaced George Siegel as George Weber, delivers a standout performance in 10. As a talented actor, Moore brings depth and nuance to the character of George, making him both relatable and endearing to audiences. His comedic timing and charm add to the overall appeal of the movie, making it a beloved classic to this day. In 10, Bo Derek's character, Jenny, becomes the center of George's world, leading him on a journey of self-discovery and love. Under the direction of Blake Edwards and the production of Hanley, the movie comes to life 
showcasing Dudley Moore's exceptional acting skills and the film's unique humor and charm. Another colloquial term for woman, like dame, skirt, Mom. crumpet. In the original casting for 10, George Waver was set to be played by a different actor, but ultimately, it was Dudley Moore who took on the role. The film marked the first major movie appearance for the actress who played the pivotal role of Jenny Miles, a character who would become central to the story. Jenny Miles is not the only significant female character in the movie. A lonely woman, played by Dee Wallace, also plays a crucial role. George meets her at the Mexican resort where much of the film takes place. In a moment of vulnerability, he confides in her about his feelings for Sam, another character in the film. Throughout the movie, George is infatuated with Sam, and his pursuit of her is a major plot point. However, it is the character played by Dee Wallace who provides a listening ear, and a shoulder to cry on for George. Her portrayal of a lonely woman is both authentic and heart-wrenching, adding depth to the film. Despite the focus on the male lead, and his pursuit of Sam, it is the women in 10 who help to drive the story forward. The actress who played Jenny Miles delivers a standout performance, making the most of her first major movie appearance. Meanwhile, Dee Wallace's portrayal of a lonely woman is both nuanced and memorable. In 10, the female characters are not simply props or love interests for the male leads. Instead, they are fully realized and complex individuals, each with their own motivations and desires. It is this attention to detail and character development that helps to make 10 a classic of its time. In the 1979 movie 10, Hugh Grant's character, George, has a gay lyricist named Robert Weber, who also happens to be his confidant. Weber's character provides George with valuable advice regarding his feelings for Sam, played by Bo Derek. Interestingly, Bo Derek was discovered through a screen test for this film, which ultimately launched her career in Hollywood. The movie's filming took place in various locations, one of them being Mexico. The stunning landscapes and picturesque settings add to the film's allure, making it a visual treat for the audience. The crew's attention to detail in capturing these locations is evident throughout the movie, providing a rich and immersive experience for the viewer. Weber's character serves as a mentor to George, guiding him through his romantic pursuits and helping him navigate his complex emotions. The chemistry between the two characters is palpable, and their conversations add depth and nuance to the film's narrative. Meanwhile, Bo Derek's character, Sam, is the object of George's affection. Her beauty and charm capture George's attention, and he becomes infatuated with her. Derek's performance is noteworthy, as she embodies the idealized image of femininity that George finds so irresistible. Overall, the filming of 10 took place in a variety of locations, each one contributing to the movie's visual appeal. The inclusion of Robert Weber's character as George's confidant adds an interesting layer to the film's narrative, while Bo Derek's performance as Sam is captivating and unforgettable. The release of 10 in 1979 brought about more than just a popular movie. It stirred up legal issues and made a significant impact on the music industry. Bo Derek's cornrow hairstyle in the film became the center of a lawsuit by Renee Rogers. Rogers claimed that the hairstyle was an expression of her culture, but the District Court of New York rejected her argument. This legal battle highlighted the complexities of cultural appropriation and intellectual property rights. On a different note, Ten also played a role in popularizing Maurice Lavelle's classical piece of music, The Ballroom. The movie's use of the song led to a surge in its popularity, making it one of the most expensive songs to be used for movies and television. The Bolero's inclusion in the film introduced the classical piece to a wider audience and left a lasting impact on the music industry. In summary, Ten was not just a movie, but a cultural phenomenon that sparked legal debates and influenced the music industry. Bo Derek's hairstyle and the Bolero's inclusion in the film remain etched in the memories of moviegoers and music lovers alike. Oh, thanks. Thank you. In 1979, the movie 10 was released, introducing the world to a young actress named Mary Kathleen Collins, who would soon become better known by her stage name, Bo Derek. At just 17 years old, Bo Derek dropped out of school to pursue acting a decision that would ultimately lead to her becoming a worldwide sex symbol and one of the most iconic actresses of the 1980s. The movie 10 was directed by John Derrick, who was already an established director and actor in Hollywood at the time. 
However, it was during the production of this film that John Derrick began an affair with Bo Derrick, who was 30 years his junior. This affair ultimately led to his divorce from his wife, actress Linda Evans. Despite the controversy surrounding their relationship, the chemistry between Bo Derrick and John Derrick was palpable on screen, and 10 became a box office hit. The film's iconic poster, featuring Bo Derrick in a tight-fitting swimsuit, and cornrows, became an instant classic, and solidified her status as a sex symbol. Bo Derrick's performance in 10 was also notable for her natural and effortless acting style, which was a refreshing departure from the over-the-top performances that were common in Hollywood at the time. Her ability to convey complex emotions with just a look or a subtle gesture was a testament to her talent as an actress. John Derrick's direction in 10 was also noteworthy, as he employed a unique visual style that was both playful and sensual. The film's stunning cinematography, which featured sweeping landscapes and intimate close-ups, was a feast for the eyes and added to the film's overall allure. In the end, 10 was more than just a movie. It was a cultural phenomenon that helped launch the careers of both Bo Derrick and John Derrick. The film's impact was felt not only in Hollywood, but also in popular culture, as Bo Derrick's iconic style and sex symbol status continued to influence fashion and beauty trends for years to come. The 10. The 1979 movie is a classic romantic comedy that has stood the test of time. Starring Dudley Moore, Bo Derrick, and Julie Andrews, the film tells the story of a middle-aged composer who falls in love with a younger woman. The movie was significant for its time, as it explored themes of aging, desire, and the complexities of relationships. Directed by Blake Edwards, 10 was released during a period of great change in the film industry. The late 1970s saw the rise of the blockbuster, with movies like Jaws and Star Wars dominating the box office. However, 10 offered something different, a more intimate, character-driven story that resonated with audiences. The film's soundtrack, featuring original music by Henry Mancini, was also a hit. The movie's title song, 10, became a popular hit, and is still remembered today. 10 may not have the same cultural impact as some of the other movies of its time, but it remains a beloved classic. Its exploration of mature themes and complex relationships continues to resonate with audiences today, making it a must-see for fans of romantic comedies. Getting older and looking more distinguished and worldly. The casting process for the 1979 movie 10 was a fascinating journey, filled with auditions, chemistry tests, and pivotal moments. Each key actor was chosen with great care and consideration. For the role of Samantha Taylor, the film's director, Blake Edwards, wanted a fresh face. He found it in Bo Derrick, a model with no prior acting experience. Edwards was captivated by her unique look and believed she could bring a certain innocence to the character. After several auditions, Derrick was cast, marking her film debut. Dudley Moore, who played the lead role of George Weber, was an accomplished actor and musician. He had already worked with Edwards on several projects, and their chemistry was undeniable. Moore's comedic timing and ability to convey vulnerability made him the perfect choice for the role. The role of Hugh Bennett, George's best friend, went to Robert Weber. Weber was a seasoned actor with a career spanning over two decades. He brought a sense of grounding and wisdom to the character, providing a nice contrast to Moore's more impulsive portrayal of George. Julie Andrews, Edward's wife, was initially considered for the role of Samantha's friend, Mary Lewis. However, she suggested her friend Dee Wallace for the part. Wallace was known for her work in television and brought a warmth and relatability to the character. The chemistry between the cast members was crucial, and several tests were conducted to ensure the right dynamic. One such test involved Derek and Moore, who had to film a scene together. Their instant connection and playful banter convinced Edwards that they were the right fit. Another pivotal moment was during the casting of the role of Samantha's husband, David. Several actors were considered but none seemed right until the arrival of Brian Dennehy. His imposing presence and subtle menace made him the perfect choice for the role. In conclusion, the casting process for 10 was a careful and thoughtful one, resulting in a talented and cohesive cast. Each actor brought something unique to their role, contributing to the film's enduring impact and resonance. Your phone's out of order. No, it's not. It's been busy all day. It's a job. The director of 1979's 10, Blake Edwards, brought a unique vision to the film. Known for his comedic touch, Edwards infused the movie with a blend of humor and drama. 
He drew inspiration from his own experiences and explored the midlife crisis of a man in his 40s. Edward's creative influences were vast, ranging from his work in comedy to his background in musicals. He approached the story of Ten with a lighthearted tone, using humor to balance the more serious themes of the film. His signature style was evident in the film's pacing, visual humor, and character development. Collaboration was key to Edward's directorial vision. He worked closely with the cast and crew to bring the story to life. He encouraged improvisation and exploration, allowing the actors to bring their own ideas to the table. This collaborative approach resulted in a more authentic and engaging film. One of the most notable collaborations was with Dudley Moore, who played the lead role in the film. Edwards and Moore had a long-standing professional relationship, having worked together on several films before. Their collaboration resulted in a nuanced and complex performance, with Moore bringing depth and humanity to the character. The visual style of Ten was also a crucial part of Edwards' directorial vision. He worked with cinematographer Harry Stradling Jr. to create a vibrant and engaging visual landscape. The use of wide shots and long takes allowed the audience to fully immerse themselves in the story. In conclusion, Blake Edwards' directorial vision for 1979's Ten was a blend of humor, drama, and visual style. His collaborative approach and creative influences resulted in a film that continues to resonate with audiences today. It cost you 50 bucks and an apology. The production of the 1979 movie Ten was a fascinating process, marked by innovative techniques and logistical challenges. The film's director, Blake Edwards, is known for his meticulous attention to detail, particularly in set design and locations. The movie 10 takes us on a journey through various stunning locations. The story begins in the bustling city of Los Angeles, where the protagonist, George Weber, lives. To capture the essence of this vibrant city, the production team chose several real-life locations, including the iconic Mulholland Drive and Beverly Hills. One of the most memorable scenes in the movie is George's fantasy sequence, which was filmed in a specially constructed set. The team built a massive, multi-level set, complete with a Greek temple and a Colosseum. This extravagant set was designed to create a surreal, dreamlike atmosphere, reflecting George's inner desires and fantasies. However, constructing such an intricate set was not without its challenges. The team faced numerous logistical issues, including securing the necessary permits, managing the budget, and coordinating with the cast and crew. Despite these challenges, they managed to create a visually stunning backdrop for the film's most iconic scene. Another innovative technique employed during the production of Ten was the use of handheld cameras. This was a relatively new approach at the time, as most films were still using static cameras. By using handheld cameras, the production team was able to create a more dynamic and immersive viewing experience. This technique was particularly effective during the film's chase scenes, which were shot using a combination of handheld and dashboard-mounted cameras. In addition to these innovative techniques, the production of Ten was also marked by its logistical challenges. The film's extensive location shoots required the production team to coordinate with local authorities, businesses, and residents. They also had to deal with unpredictable weather conditions, traffic, and other external factors that could impact the shoot. Despite these challenges, the production team was able to create a visually stunning film that has stood the test of time. The movie's innovative set design, locations, and filming techniques continue to captivate audiences, making 10 a true classic of 1970s cinema. Lounge. Mr. Weber, please. Mr. Weber. Are you in? No. The 1979 movie Ten is a comedic tale of a middle-aged man's obsession with a younger woman. The musical score and soundtrack play a significant role in enhancing the film's narrative and emotional tone. Composed by Henry Mancini, the music is a blend of jazz and orchestral arrangements, which perfectly complement the film's comedic and romantic elements. Mancini, an accomplished composer, had already made a name for himself in the film industry, having composed iconic scores for movies like Breakfast at Tiffany's and the Pink Panther. For Ten, Mancini aimed to create a score that would reflect the protagonist's midlife crisis and his pursuit of youth and beauty. The soundtrack features several instrumental pieces, including the film's main theme, Ten, which is a jazzy, upbeat tune that captures the protagonist's initial infatuation with the young woman. The score also includes more somber pieces, such as The Run, which underscores the protagonist's desperation and anxiety as he chases after his love interest. In addition to the instrumental score, Ten features several popular songs of the time, 
including Songbird by Kenny Rankin and Just the Way You Are by Billy Joel. These songs add to the film's romantic tone and help to further develop the character's emotions. Interestingly, Mancini's score for 10 was initially rejected by the film's director, Blake Edwards. However, after some persuasion, Edwards eventually changed his mind, and the score was included in the final cut of the film. Mancini's music for 10 is a testament to his versatility and skill as a composer. The score's blend of jazz and orchestral arrangements perfectly captures the film's comedic and romantic elements, while the popular songs add depth and emotion to the characters' relationships. Overall, the musical score and soundtrack of 10 are an essential part of the film's success, enhancing the narrative and emotional tone in a way that only great music can. Well done. Double done. God, it's going to be hard to say by the shank of the evening. One of the most iconic scenes in the 1979 movie 10 is when George Weber, played by Dudley Moore, first lays eyes on Samantha Taylor, portrayed by Bo Derrick. The scene is a visual and auditory feast filled with vibrant colors and the sound of the Beach Boys' God Only Knows. Director Blake Edwards masterfully sets the stage for this unforgettable moment. The camera work is smooth and deliberate, with a slow zoom in on Bo Derek as she walks towards the camera in her now iconic white bikini and braids. The use of the Beach Boys' classic tune adds a sense of nostalgia and longing, perfectly capturing George's infatuation with Samantha. Dudley Moore's performance in this scene is also noteworthy. His facial expressions and body language convey his character's growing obsession with Samantha, making the audience feel both amused and sympathetic towards him. Bo Derek's appearance in this scene has become one of the most iconic images in cinema history. Her portrayal of Samantha is both captivating and alluring, making it easy to see why George becomes so infatuated with her. The impact of this scene on the audience is significant. It has become one of the most memorable moments in cinema history, and the image of Bo Derek in her white bikini and braids is instantly recognizable. The scene also perfectly encapsulates the film's themes of love, lust, and the complexities of human relationships. In an interview with The Hollywood Reporter, Dudley Moore discussed the impact of this scene, stating, that scene has become so iconic, and it's amazing to think that it all came together so perfectly. The music, the cinematography, and of course Bo's performance all came together to create something truly magical. Blake Edwards also spoke about the scene, stating, I wanted to create a moment that would be both visually stunning and emotionally impactful. I think we achieved that with this scene, and it's become one of the most memorable moments in the film. Overall, the iconic scene in 10 is a testament to the power of visual storytelling and the impact that a single moment can have on an audience. Now there's a really attractive older man. Oh, that's nice. Released in 1979, the movie 10 quickly captured audiences with its comedic and romantic storyline. The film, directed by Blake Edwards and starring the charismatic Dudley Moore, showcased the midlife crisis of a man infatuated with a beautiful woman, played by Bo Derek. The movie's cultural and social impact can be analyzed through its resonance with audiences, influence on pop culture, and contribution to discussions on relevant social or cultural themes. The film resonated with audiences due to its relatable and humorous portrayal of a midlife crisis, a theme that struck a chord with many viewers. Audiences found themselves drawn to the character of Dudley Moore, who portrayed the vulnerability and awkwardness of a man grappling with aging and the allure of youth. Ten also significantly influenced pop culture, particularly in the realm of fashion and beauty. Bo Derek's iconic cornrow hairstyle, as seen in the movie, became a popular trend and remains a recognizable symbol of the film's cultural impact. The movie's soundtrack, featuring the hit song Against All Odds by Phil Collins, further solidified its place in pop culture history. Moreover, Ten contributed to discussions on relevant social and cultural themes, such as the objectification of women and the societal pressures faced by men as they age. The film's depiction of these issues sparked conversations and debates, shedding light on the complexities of human relationships and societal expectations. In conclusion, Ten left an indelible mark on audiences and pop culture, resonating with viewers and influencing fashion and beauty trends. The film's exploration of social and cultural themes also contributed to important discussions, making Ten a significant cultural artifact of its time. I don't mean to be rude, but aren't you George Weber? Yes, I am, and I don't think you're...
Released in 1979, the romantic comedy drama film 10 quickly gained critical acclaim and positive audience reactions. The movie was directed by Blake Edwards, who was already a well-established figure in Hollywood, and starred the charismatic Dudley Moore, Bo Derek, and Julie Andrews. The New York Times film critic Vincent Camby praised the film, stating that 10 was a funny, intelligent, and altogether enchanting film. Camby commended Edwards' direction, highlighting the film's ability to balance humor and drama effectively. Additionally, he lauded Dudley Moore's performance, describing it as one of the most appealing screen performances of the year. Roger Ebert of the Chicago Sun-Times also gave the film a glowing review, awarding it three and a half out of four stars. Ebert commended the film's unique blend of comedy, drama, and romance, stating that 10 was a movie that works on several levels at once. He also praised Dudley Moore's performance, stating that he was perfectly cast in the role of George Weber. 10 was also a commercial success, grossing over $74 million at the box office against a production budget of $8 million. The film's soundtrack, featuring the hit song 10, performed by singer-songwriter Andrew Gold, was also a massive success, reaching number 4 on the Billboard Hot 100 chart. The film received several award nominations, including two Academy Award nominations for Best Original Score and Best Original Song for 10. Dudley Moore was also nominated for a Golden Globe Award for Best Actor in a Musical or Comedy. The accolades received by 10 were significant for those involved in the film. For Blake Edwards, the success of the film further solidified his status as a talented director and writer. Dudley Moore's performance in the film earned him critical acclaim and recognition as a leading man in Hollywood. Additionally, the film's success helped launch Bo Derek's career as a successful actress and sex symbol. In conclusion, 10 was a critically acclaimed and commercially successful film that showcased the talents of its director, cast, and crew. The film's unique blend of comedy, drama, and romance, along with its memorable soundtrack and iconic performances, helped it resonate with audiences and critics alike. The accolades received by the film were well-deserved and served as a testament to the film's enduring impact on the world of cinema. Terrific! My name is Mary Lewis. Congratulations, <laughs> Mary Lewis. During the filming of 1979's 10, the production was filled with unexpected events and light-hearted moments. For instance, Dudley Moore, who played the lead role, was known for his love of alcohol. One day, he arrived on set visibly intoxicated. To conceal Moore's state, the director, Blake Edwards, cleverly rewrote the scene to have Moore's character equally inebriated. The film's iconic car chase scene was also an unforgettable experience. The scene required a white Rolls Royce to be driven at high speeds through the narrow streets of San Francisco. The car's owner, a wealthy Englishman, agreed to lend it for the film under one condition, it could not be damaged. To ensure the car's safety, the production team hired a skilled stunt driver. However, during filming, the driver lost control and crashed into a fire hydrant causing a massive water geyser to erupt. Fortunately, the car emerged unscathed and the scene made it into the final cut. Bo Derek, who played the object of Moore's affection, was also a source of amusement on set. Known for her striking looks, Derek was often the center of attention. During a beach scene, she wore a revealing swimsuit that caught the eye of a nearby elderly woman. The woman approached Derek, patted her on the behind, and exclaimed, You have a beautiful figure, dear. I wish I had looked like that when I was your age. The cast and crew couldn't help but laugh at the unexpected encounter. In another instance, the film's composer, Henry Mancini, was working on the score when he received some surprising news. His wife had gone into labor, and he needed to rush to the hospital. Despite the urgency, Mancini refused to leave until he had completed the score's main theme. He worked tirelessly, and just as he put the finishing touches on the composition, his wife gave birth to their child. Mancini's dedication to the film was evident in the beautiful score he created under such unique circumstances. These anecdotes offer a glimpse into the lighthearted and sometimes chaotic production of 10. Despite the challenges, the cast and crew persevered, creating a film that has endured as a classic example of 1970s cinema. I'm married because I wanted to. <laughs> a week later, you have Released in 1979, 10 quickly left its mark on the film industry. This comedy drama, directed by Blake Edwards and starring Bo Derek, showcased a unique blend of humor, romance, and visual storytelling. The movie revolves around a middle-aged man who becomes infatuated with a younger woman, leading to a series of comedic and poignant moments. 
10 is often remembered for its groundbreaking and provocative portrayal of sexuality and desire. The iconic beach scene featuring Bo Derek adorned in braids and running along the shoreline remains an enduring image in cinema history. This scene, in particular, demonstrated the power of visual storytelling and its ability to captivate audiences. The film's impact on future filmmaking is evident in the way it tackled mature themes with humor and grace. Ten paved the way for subsequent romantic comedies and dramas that delved into the complexities of relationships and desire. The movie's success also helped solidify Blake Edwards' status as a skilled director and storyteller, furthering his influence on future filmmakers. Ten has inspired numerous works in the years since its release. For instance, the 1996 film The First Wives Club pays homage to Ten with a similar beach scene, highlighting the lasting impact of the original movie. Additionally, the film's exploration of midlife crises and relationships has influenced various television shows and movies, demonstrating the enduring appeal of its themes. In conclusion, Ten has left an indelible mark on film history, inspiring future filmmakers, and resonating with audiences through its unique blend of humor, romance, and visual storytelling. Look up derogatory. Did you know that the 1979 movie 10, starring Bo Derek and Dudley Moore, left a significant impact on its audience? We'd love to hear about your personal experiences and memories related to this classic film. How did 10 influence your perspective on cinema? Did it inspire you, surprise you, or make you think differently about filmmaking? Share your thoughts with us and the community by engaging with this post. Liking, sharing, and subscribing, you'll help create a vibrant conversation around 10 and its lasting influence. Let's reminisce together and explore how this movie has marked its place in cinema history. Perhaps you discovered new aspects of filmmaking or were drawn to a particular scene that resonated with you. We invite you to step into this shared experience and contribute your unique perspective. So don't be shy. Join the conversation and tell us about the personal impact of 1979's 10. Together, let's celebrate the enduring allure of this iconic film. Just one man loving and